Hello, this is Emma Elizabeth Wood, Wood Education Blog 43. I welcome you to my channel. Now, I'm going to put it this way. Upon watching this whole video, you like, if you like this video, and subscribe to my channel. And there's a notification bell. Click on that and the list will drop down. And you have a choice of what you want to do with it. And then from watching this video all the way through, um, you happen to like it, click on it. And if you don't, then click on just like share my video. What I'm going to talk about today is uh, uh, Ivermectin. And I did have a theory. I did have a video. I was rendering a um, movie maker. Then I came across the article saying that the urban mecking is not to you to be used for coronavirus nineteen coming to. So I have an article here on the very well health uh website. I'm going to share with you and you can read right along with me so here, here we go well here it is when I had an article um Let me get to the other one. It says here, Ivermectin is not approved for any viral infection, including COVID-19. Some studies, like one published in June 2020 in Antroviral Research, antiviral research have shown that ivermectin may beat back viruses, but the research was done to cell culture and not human. And on the video that I was going to upload here, I gave a little more information on that. Well, anyway, it said here on Very Well Health website, uh, experts are warning that there is not enough evidence to support using a drug called itermectin to treat COVID-19. And I saw a couple of videos here on YouTube of patients who, who had contracted the COVID-19 uh, got a hold of ivermectin and, and used it and it made them feel better. They, they feel that it cleared up the COVID-2. Okay, and I have a notepad um, telling you about how, what the I, uh, what the Iver mechanism is used for. It is used for treating parasites, little worms and little bugs that happen to enter into your body, into the animals, mainly the animals. That's what it's mainly used for. It's for the animals, not for the human to, to take. 
But somehow, these people on these videos happened to try it. And then it made me think, well, um, could it be that the coronavirus is a parasite? Now, this is just my opinion. It's, it's my opinion. It's not a compare, it's not a conspiracy or anything like that. Okay, and then, then it said, Ivermectin is used to treat parasite worms in some form of Ivermectin are intended for animals and not safe for a human to consume. According to the NIH, the FDA, and WHO, studies on using ivermectin to treat COVID-19 has been conclusive so far. Now, they had studied on it, but Okay, an unlikely drug is gaining attention as a potential treatment for COVID-19, but experts are warning against its, its use. Interest in ivermectin, an inexpensive medication typically used to treat Parasite infection in both human and animal as a COVID-19 miracle drug began in June 2020. And when a study found that it could reduce the viral uh, replication of SARS-2, COVID-2, virtual, or outside of a living organism. Okay, let's find out what uh, what is ivermectin. Okay, ivermectin is a drug approved by the FDA to treat conditions caused by parasite worms like strongly Lodi Dias, of course I can't, strongly Lodi Dias and Uncorcosur, you can read it there, <laughs> liver blindness, oh, river blindness, and typically an oral Medication taken as a single dose for tropical, topical formulation can be used for head rash or rosadia. I, I got, I got rosadia. I mean, it sounds like what I got on my nose and on my neck. Uh, rosetta, rosetta, yeah. Rosetta, but this is Rosetta. See ya, yeah. However, there is no conclusion data showing that ivermectin is effective at killing viruses inside the human body. An expert, including the Food and Drug Administration, which is FDA, are warning against its use for COVID-19. Okay. Iver Ivermectin is not a new drug. Let's see. You can read that there. A vaccine knowledge and pet pediatric infection disease specialist at Yale Medicine and and and, and, and associate professor of medicine and global health 
at the Yale School of Medicine tells very well that it's been used in humans since the early 1980s and has been on the veterinary veterinary market even longer for almost half a century. Ivermectin was labeled as a wonder drug before COVID-19 because of its ability to treat parasites infection, especially river blindness, which causes significant social and economic burning to in certain communities in Africa and South America. Okay, now, uh, let's go back to um, another one here. Uh, no, no significant evidence showing Iron Mechan can treat COVID-19. Okay, let's read this. I think, uh, let's read this. If I ever get to it. <laughs> oh, mercy, mercy. <laughs> I had made some changes. Um, uh, in the near future, um, while I'm waiting for it to come up, I, there it comes. Okay, here we go. No efficient, um, no, mm. and I may, I'm making some change on my face. These are the blue glasses. And that's to, to keep from the blue rays coming from the internet. You're burning your retina in your eye. Uh, just destroys it. So I, 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 and I had nothing else to do in my, um, mm. well, add remove. Okay. There. <laughs> All right. Okay, now, we can, you can look down below here. <laughs> this is crazy. High detail. So detail. Okay. No e e sufficient evidence showing ivermectin can treat COVID-19. Okay, this all started in the Philippines, I think. Um, Manila, Philippines, alert, re evaluating new evidence on ivermectin. Expert has found that there is still no sufficient evidence that the anti parasite drugs can cure COVID 19. The Department of Health, uh, DOH, said yesterday, expert, expert has established that there is very low evidence that ivermectin can help even the mid to mild to moderate cases of COVID-19, according to the DOH Under Secretary Maria Rosero Virginia, uh, that's a Filipino doctor, I guess. Um, we suggest against the use of ivermectin for COVID-19 patients. All conditional recommendation because of very low quality for evidence Existing internationality, internationality, um, um, Virginia said. 
And she added that they look, they are looking forward to the local clinical trial, trials to be done in the country by the Department of Science and Technology to have evidence on the use of ivermectin for SARS only two infection. So far, five hospitals have been granted compassionate special permits, uh, CSP, by the Food and Drug Administration, FDRA, to use the drug for the COVID-19 patient. Burgundy, Burgundy reminded the public that aside from this CSP, Ivacin is not yet registered with the FDA, just cannot be sold commercially in the country. I think she's talking about her own country. Okay. Now you can go to this website and help me, help me, help me. Um, <clears throat> Let's see. And you can go to this website, um, and I hope, uh, it's 11 o'clock, I, uh, I eat at 11 o'clock, um, I'm going to end this here, and I might continue this, um, um, Probably Wednesday. Um, um, Saturdays and Wednesdays are my uploads of my videos, and uh, I I show uh, um, I'm going to uh, mark this website so I can get back to it. Okay. Now I want to thank you for watching. Uh, this is Wood Education Blog 43. But thank you for watching. And I uh, will see you here the next time on YouTube and the World Wide Web. So long. I'll see you probably Wednesday. I probably won't be uploading every Wednesday or Saturday. There will be things that will come up to prevent me to. But I... And I will be doing them, okay? Thank you for watching. I'll see you the next time.